Hello everybody, I hope you're having a great day. Today I'm going to be creating a mixed media tag. Uh, I'm not really using any sort of collection like paper collection or anything like that. Just lots of different things to add texture to my tag. I love creating tags because I do like to display uh, some of the projects that I create, but like layouts and altered projects are just a little bit too big for my space. I have a quite a smaller space and not a lot of area to display my projects. So tags are perfect. All right, so I took a Prima chipboard tag and just traced it along this cardboard here to create the base for my tag. Uh, you don't have to do this. I am horrible at creating my own tags, so that's why I just traced it out. I then started peeling off the top layer of the tag so that it would uh, show some of that corrugated cardboard look and just to add more texture to my tag. So I add some white gesso and I did add two coats of that. And <clears throat> excuse me, after that dries, I'm adding some white crackle paste. And again, I do this probably on most of my projects. I like to give var variation to the cracks. So I will um, add some thicker in some areas and some thinner in other areas just so that I can have bigger cracks in, you know, in smaller cracks. So I let that dry completely and while it's drying, I'm going to uh, paint these chipboard uh, from uh, Blue Fern Studios. I got the chipboard from Renee's shop and on Etsy and I'll have a link down below to that. I put two coats of heavy gesso on the chipboard just so that they're nice and white. I am taking this stencil from Echo Park. It's probably one of my favorites right now. And I am using some light paste just to add a little bit more texture to the to my tag. And I'm just going to be placing my embellishments down. I have a Prima resin frame that I broke, not in half, but I just kind of smashed it against my table and then it broke where it wanted to. And I'm just going to be placing these chipboard pieces kind of offset from each other. And then I'm going to be placing the frame in the center of the tag so I have my focal point for my project. to add some heavy gesso and then I add some white crackle paste again to the chipboard pieces and then also the frame and again I go heavy in some areas and lighter in other areas. You can use a paintbrush. Um, I a lot of times use the silicone brush from Prima. I find that it creates, I don't know, I just get better cracks when I use it but because the uh, chipboard and the frame were so intricate and there's just little areas I decided to use a paintbrush instead. I am taking some seashells that I probably got at a craft store and I am placing them where I want them. I, I love using Fabri-Tac or 3-in-1 from Beacon because it holds really really well but you also have a little bit of playroom with the embellishments that you put down. So. Uh, in just a second, I actually end up pulling a few of the seashells up because I decided that I wanted to add a IOD metal piece to my tag. And it actually made it really, really heavy with all the seashells, the frame, the chipboard, and then this metal piece. So I actually ended up backing my cardboard tag onto the Prima chipboard tag just to give it a little bit more stability. So I'm just adding the seashells back on top of that little metal piece. And then I'm going to add the seashell. Sadly, this or the seahorse, it is discontinued and I have been trying to save it for the perfect project. 
and I was super inspired by a lady over on Instagram. I will have a link down below to her um, her Instagram page, I guess it's called. I don't know. I'm still pretty new to Instagram, but she was inspired by one of my projects and then I was inspired by hers. I love how it goes in full circle a lot of times and I love that I can inspire people and then in return they inspire me back. It just, it makes my heart so happy. So you saw me add some heavy gesso and then I'm going to add some 3D matte gel because I'm going to add some art stones to add a lot of texture to my project. I'm just going to sprinkle on the art stones and then some mini art stones to where I added all of that 3D matte gel and then I'm just going to press gently so that the stones get into the gel. After the 3, 3D matte gel dries, I'm going to just add a light coat of gesso. Now here is the fun part, adding the color. I think that it looks really cool, just all white, but I did want this to be more like beachy themed. And like I said, I was super inspired by a lady on Instagram. I totally forgot her name. It's slipping my mind right now, but I definitely will have a link down below. She was inspired by my mixed media layout from uh, I that I did for Create with Prima using the Saint Tropez collection and her layout is super gorgeous, and then it inspired me to create something else. So enough rambling, but I am using Glistening Waves, a color bloom spray, and then I add a little bit of water, and then I'm going to just let it, you know, kind of move where it wants to, and then this is Dragonfly Blue, which is gonna give a lot of depth to my tag in all of those crevices and nooks and crannies and then I'm going to add a little bit more water let it flow where it wants to then I'm going to add even a darker color which is the magic stone from Prima the color bloom spray and then again I'm just going to add a little bit of water and let it just flow where it wants to and get in all those cracks and nooks and crannies and I wipe up any excess that is just too much and I love how much depth that just gives a project. To add a little bit more color, I'm using the uh, Lime Wedge Color Bloom Spray, just to add a little bit of green. I am loving this color combination, and when I start loving something, I use it until I get sick of it, <laughs> and then I move on to something else. After the spray dries, I am just going to be highlighting some of the areas and the texture on the tag with some heavy gesso and this creates a lot of interest and more depth to your project when you highlight all of those raised areas and if gesso is all you have, it works really, really great. But I suggest either the Sparks paint from Finibear, the it's really shimmery and uh, the, or like the Opal Magic uh, acrylic paint, it works really, really great too. Or the Art Alchemy waxes. This one is the Vintage, vintage Silk. So Vintage Silk is probably my go-to when I'm wanting to highlight uh, different areas on my projects. And I'm not much of a shimmery glitter person at all, but it is just enough to add a little bit to your project. And with it being a little bit shimmery, it adds just enough highlight to your project. I'm just adding a little bit of upholstery thread behind my seahorse just to add a little bit more texture to my project. 
I am in love with the Nuvo Crystal Drops from Tonic Studios. There is so many different colors to choose from. I love the white for this project. And what I do is I put them on my craft mat and then I add them after they're dry. That way I'm not possibly going to ruin my project if I accidentally squirt too much out or something like that. So that's why I do it this way. That way I can have them exactly where I want them and I use some glossy accents to adhere them down. And to finish my tag, I am just going to add some picket fence distress spray and that is going to complete my tag. I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. If you did, give it a thumbs up and I always love reading your comments. Please subscribe and share this video on social media. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.